12 minutes past seven, BBC Radio Derby, and I'm with you until eight o'clock. Now, Sikhs across the UK are putting plans in place to deal with the coronavirus emergency. To find out more, I'm joined on the line by Harmeet Singh, General Secretary of the Sri Guru Singh Sabha Gurdwara in Southall. Uh, Harmeet, uh, uh, before we talk about uh, uh, what you're doing there, I understand that the Akal Takht in India, the highest uh, political institution for Sikhs, has issued an edict today regarding the coronavirus. Um, what does that directive say? Uh, so first, good evening and uh, thanking you for having me on. So that's right, the Agal Dukt, which is the highest spiritual and temporal authority, uh, this morning issued an edict to, for all Sikhs. Uh, and the guidance was very, very similar to, what, to directives that have been taken out by UK governors already. The, the key messages were that Sikhs should practice self-isolation, they should uh, adhere to the guidance of the health authorities in the respective countries they're living in, and that all large religious events be postponed for at least two weeks. And in the UK, we've, of course, gone further than that in line with what the UK government's saying. And an important one was that Sikhs across the world should act in accordance with the teachings of Grib Damu Guru Di Golak, which means using all the assets of a Gurdwara for the benefit of society and mankind, especially through these uh, turbulent and troubling times. Mm -hmm. So what does all that mean for British Sikhs here in the UK now? So Gurdwars and, and UK Sikh bodies are giving the same advice as the government for people to stay at home, to stay isolated, to be safe, uh, to follow the social distancing guide, uh, guidance. Uh, so the Gurdwars have adapted. Some are closing their services to the public um, with priests who live in sight, continuing the religious services privately. Some are making use of virtual services like us. Um, mm. So we're broadcasting our services on YouTube so folks don't have to come in, who can't come in. And that way they still benefit, they still take part uh, and, and aren't left alone when they're staying at home. Mm. So is your Gurdwara closed to the public? Uh, no, so we've severely restricted the number of services we have. Um, our timetables actually have been scaled back to, to avoid any large gatherings whatsoever. Uh, weddings, private par events are all postponed. Uh, all, all big major celebrations events have been postponed. Education programs, sporting activities, anything for the elderly have all been postponed and cancelled until we, we're through this crisis. Mm. Uh, there are calls uh, for Gurdwaras to, um, you know, close their doors to the Sangat. Um, how far are we from that becoming common practice in the UK? So I think some have already gone down that route, especially in smaller towns um, where uh, where they have seen a drastic fall in, in, in visitors without having to close their doors. Uh, us in Southall, same thing. Uh, we've seen almost sort of 95% fall in the number of uh, uh, worshippers coming. Those who are coming are very few and, and, uh, and beyond in an hour maybe we get 10 or 15 who come do private worship and leave we're lucky because we're a large institution we've invested heavily in, in extra cleaning sanitizing in, in sending the message to the elderly and the vulnerable to stay at home and taking the service to them rather than them coming to us I think that's that's a really important point in the sense that uh, you know Gurdwara um, Closing its doors to the Sangha doesn't mean it's closing its doors to people who need it. You can take the support networks that Gurdwaras provide to many, many people out back into them, into their homes, can't you? That, that is doable. If if we kind of follow the tenets of Seva, then, uh, you know, Sevedars can provide that support and that service um, to people who are uh, isolated, who are vulnerable in their homes. Yeah, no, exactly. And, and we've done that in Southall, and I know of Gurdwaras and Sikh uh, uh, organisations across the country who are now taking lunga, taking food parcels to those who are self-isolating, who the elderly who can't venture out, some for fear, some who cannot afford now to buy food in some areas where the prices have, have, have been raised dramatically for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. So we are doing that exactly. We're going out into the community safely, of course, uh, making sure the vulnerable are are able to survive. Um, how does that work logistically, uh, Harmi? Do, do you have a database of people? Do you have people who've kind of self-registered or do you have a helpline? You know, how do people get in touch with the Gurdwara for that kind of support and that help? So, so we set up a dedicated helpline man 24 hours a day. 
Uh, we've obviously advertised it in, in local media amongst our worshippers, our mailing list, etc. Uh, and a lot of the folks phoning in are actually friends, neighbours mm. of folks who are vulnerable, uh, who haven't been able to go out for a while, and, and they're concerned for them. So we get that information, we do an assessment, we've got trained volunteers who, who work with vulnerable people uh, who are qualified to do this, and, and on the back of that, we do a needs assessment and then provide what they need. Mm. Uh, looking ahead, Vasaki is coming up on the 13th of uh, April. What are your thoughts about this at the moment in line in, in light of the virus? Um, is it likely that all those kind of events will now be cancelled? Short answer is yes. So, so Vasaki is obviously a very important time of year for all Sikhs. You know, we have big, big programs, big, uh, large processions across the country. Uh, but this year, uh, we in Southall and I know of every other Gurdwara that, that has these celebrations has postponed all those major large uh, celebrations and programs in line with what the Akal Takta said today. Uh, we took this step a few weeks ago just foreseeing that this was going to get worse before it got better. Uh, so what has been the advice? Um, what are the plans from your Gurdwara in terms of uh, getting people to deal with this virus? Uh, so one one important role we play is education. Uh, there's obviously a lot of fear mongering, a lot of disinformation that's that's going out, especially on WhatsApp. Uh, our community, especially those for whom English isn't the first language, they're easily misled by false information. So we're trying to convey what the right right, right steps are, uh, telling them what the government's saying about self isolation, about social distancing, uh, and of course helping the elderly, helping the vulnerable who can't venture out, who need who need a desperate need of support and help. Uh, Harmeet, thank you so much for sharing those thoughts with us. And, um, you know, no doubt we'll talk to you as, uh, as this story develops.